stocks rallying today in part thanks to things that happened off our shores. Hong Kong withdrawing an extradition bill that triggered months of violent protests. The U.K. clearing a major hurdle in an effort to prevent a no-deal Brexit. And Argentina implementing capital controls to stabilize that market. So these global hotspots appear to be cooling down a bit. So is this an all-clear for investors, at least with these... Extraneous all clear? Sort, well, for, for these extraneous all clear, sort Pete. of... Uh, <laughs> I'm not throwing up You're the all clear, clear, buddy. I don't know You're if the you glass are, half full. But, but we but about you. We've eliminated some of these extraneous concerns. We have. We have. And, and But I think there's still a lot they've got left to negotiate, right? I mean, so that that's something I think that'll hang around as well, Bill. So, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I brought it up earlier, and I'll bring it up again. When you see a market that goes up 200-plus points in a day, and then you still see gold and silver, and you see different areas of the market, we had a great move today in oil. And I don't... I don't know how much that was covered today. I mean, up 4% yeah, today. Yeah. That's pretty big on a WTI, back over $56. So we got a nice push there as well. I I hate to be the guy to say all clear, so I'm not going to say that. I feel more comfortable, probably, but I don't know that I would say, you know what, it's time to just go in like a bull. Well, all clear is a, is a horizon call, right? I mean, how long is it all clear for? And so if you look at what's been going <laughs> so on tomorrow. in tomorrow, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. all, all clear has been the last two weeks of investing in Germany over the U.S., right. investing in emerging markets over the U.S. before last night's news, and even, in fact, with a dollar that was getting stronger. So to me, um, I think you have more room on these trades. I don't think you have a ton of room. There's no way you can call all clear, except for the fact that, as we said last night, we spent a fair amount time talking about Hong Kong and China's options and gaming and all these right. uh, all, all the collateral damage. Um, I do think this is their way of squaring this away ahead of a very important event in China on October 1st. So I do think you've got a little bit of a room here and that's in the backdrop where I think the dollar is actually maybe in the short run was overbought. Which mm -hmm. EMs have more room at this point? I, I think if you look at Latin America, Brazil's really been outperforming the, the, the fact also that the currency there has, has gone to the abyss and looks like it's found stabilization and as you know in emerging markets more than 50% of your trade is your currency. So I would take it there. Well, let me ask you, do you think this was enough that uh, the extradition bill being, is that enough to calm the protests? And Hong Kong doesn't seem like Look, it. This, the this rhetoric doesn't seem that way. This was seemingly something that could have been done a month ago. Um, and, and so my sense is that there was an understanding that this was going to mollify, if I may, um, the, 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 the biggest part of the outcry. And I think, it, I think in the short run it has. It doesn't change anything, although I don't think Hong Kong was any different five years ago than it is today. I don't think it was ever really free. Well, I mean, it maybe it was telling that the protesters almost immediately, they put up on one of their chat rooms, you know, two out of five. So they got two out of five yep. of their demands. Is that, is enough? that enough? And, you know, Tim enough? said it last night that this was going to be rectified sooner rather than later. And it wound up being less than 24 hours. Well, in part, less than 24 hours later. But, again, I don't think anything's – today, things look better. Tomorrow, the world could look a lot different again. And I think that's the environment we find ourselves in. You know, we continue to be a tweet or two away mm. from being up 500 mm. Dow points or the other side of that Guy, point. Who said two out of three ain't bad? It was Meatloaf, Meat one Loaf. of the great yeah. albums yeah. of all Meat time, Loaf. by the way. Yes. Meat Loaf. I could sing it for you, Mel, if you'd like. That's why you know. Here. Oh. Right. Yeah, well. It's too low. <laughs> I'm glad I know that. You slip back now. <laughs>